this is this is actually a, a, a dish that I'm going to use for laminating the back. So this has been CNC machined. I'm not going to remember what the radius is now. Is it 4.8 meters or something? Is a fairly standard one, doesn't it? Something like that. Um, well, I usually work in feet when it comes to <laughs> that. It's usually 28 feet. Or yeah, this or is 28 feet, Mark. This is exactly 28 feet. <laughs> okay, so we put the. Um, and this, is, this has got like a high pressure laminate, like a full mica surface, which again is, is pretty non-stick. Um, if we wanted to go belt and braces, then um, you can put a piece of um, the, the, the same PTFE glass cloth on the mould as well. But in this instance, let's just put it on there, put that on top, um, and then we can stick that in the bag. Okay, so here we have one of the... Uh, well spotted that man that's exactly that's exactly more than 28 feet let's do it that way <laughs> let's do it it's because it's got the same color laminate there, there's ah, okay there's a tip i need to put a different color laminate on the face to the back right so yeah. let's try that that could have been a bit of a comedy moment there couldn't it okay so this is a, a polyurethane bag um they're made out of polyurethane because it's a it's a very tough material you know it's very it, it has stretch but when it's being used, it's not, you're not relying on it stretching to do its job. Um, but it's very tough and very airtight. It lasts for a long time. <coughs> um, How many do you think you could do one bag? Oh, hundreds, thousands. Um, it just depends on how, how carefully um, you look after your bag, really. Exactly. I mean, if you drop knives and chisels on it, then clearly, you know, it's not going to last as long as... Um, I'm looking for a bit of breather fabric. Um, as if you're, you're careful with it, so. Um, I mean, the, ba the bags aren't horribly expensive, even a, an eight foot by four foot bag that we, we supply for doing sort of big veneered panels is like 100 quid. Um, it's got that breather. Yeah, the breather fabric, what that does, um, it, just main, it just ensures that you have an air path from within the bag over to the bag connector. So if you don't have that, what happens is, it, the, the, the vacuum pump just sucks the opposite side of the bag onto the bottom of the bag connector and then you don't get the air out of the bag. So as long as you've got the, the breather fabric over onto the, the panel that you're pressing and is underneath the bag connector, then, then that, that will work fine. It'll make sure that we can suck all the air out. And the sealing strip, this a little two-part plastic strip. Put that under, under there, like that. Clip in one end, pull the bag tight to the other end, clip it down, and then just clip it all the way along, like that. Okay. Now what I'll do, before I turn the pump on, I'll just get the mould with the side in a bag as well, because obviously once the pump starts running, then it'll take over. So everything's still looking pretty good there. Same deal. Open the bag up, and this doesn't. Have to, this can go in any way up. The pressure is going to be applied from all all directions at once, so you don't need to worry about having it like that. It can just go in whichever way it fits most comfortably in the bag. And again, a bit of breather fabric. Take a, a minute or two to get the air out of the bag once we start the pump. Um, and with the with the veneers being held in position with the Velcro straps, you don't really need to pay a lot of attention. The thing that you, you want to make sure hasn't happened is that the bag hasn't got sucked down in between the mould and the layers of veneer. Um, but like I say, with it being held so closely to the mould, that, that really shouldn't be an issue. Okay, so I'll turn the pump on now. And then we've got several um, vacuum lines here running off of the same pump, which I can use independently. So I just open open that valve now, and that's now I'm going to start sucking the air out of that one. And I'll wait until this one's sucked down before I turn the vacuum line on for the, um, the bag with the back in it. And all the fittings we use on these these machines are all standard. It's called the standard push fit pneumatics connector. 
but you push the tube in and it locks. If you pull the little coloured collar back towards the fitting, that then releases it. So they're all sort of plug and play. Um, every now and then, you know, if you're doing that with your, your, your tubes a lot, it's worth chopping like 10 mil off the end of the tube. You do get a little burry line around it, which can can catch. Um, yeah, but they're, they're very reliable. They're all completely standard parts as well. So. We, we try as much as possible not to do anything that's entirely proprietary, you know, I'm not trying to tie people into you know, buying expensive, expensive fittings, that's not what we're about. So you can see that's now not far off. Just watch that last little bit. And you'll see that quite suddenly it, it, it will look like it's all, it's all tightening up. Not a little, form a little ridge in it there. It's a good way to judge how much pressure you're getting in the bag. That's, that's it. it's there. You normally notice that the, the note of the pump changes as well once it stops sucking air out. So you can see that as now, you know, you try to pull that up off of the, the mould to get some idea of the degree of pressure that's being applied and everything within it. Let's move that slightly. The pump doesn't need airflow to cool it. Um, all, of, all of the pumps we supply are 100% due to cycle pumps, which means you can leave them running for as long as you like. You can, you can get some very cheap little oil lubricated pumps on eBay, which are designed for air conditioning recharge um, systems, but they're not 100% due to cycle. So if you're going to run them for an hour or two hours, they will overheat. I know, because I've tried it. Um, I know there are some systems where We always leave the pump running. The pump, the pump runs. Yeah. Uh, so this dries over up. Yes. And the pump runs up. Yes. Yeah. Um, the important, th the important reason that we we always recommend keeping the pump running. It's the only way you can guarantee that the pressure within the bag remains constant. Um, over the years, there have been various vacuum pump systems that turn on and off. Um, but by their very nature that means they're getting to a certain level of vacuum, stopping, dropping pressure, coming back on again. So you've got this constant variance of the, the pressure in the bag. Um, yes, absolutely. Yeah, there's probably a 100 watt motor or something in there, if that. Um, so it's not using up a lot of power, and it's relatively quiet. Um, and you can see, you know, we could we could probably run another two, three, four bags off of it. As long as you're sucking them down one at a time, um, what we have in each vacuum line is the shut-off valve or the on-off valve. And we also have this little device here, which is a, a non-return valve. What that does is when you, when you open up to suck the air out of the second bag, the non-return valve prevents any air going back into the first bag whilst the, the second round is being evacuated. Um, but with, you, using those devices, you know, you, like I say, you can run multiple bags very, very easily. So how many depends on which... A little pump like that, for, for guitar sides, I'd say you can probably happily run six bags. Um, so not for most exactly, you know, your six bags will give you two sets of sides and two backs. Um, although with the backs you can actually put more than one back in at a time because you know you, you can just um, layer them, in, interleave them with another layer of the, the PTFE glass cloth to stop them sticking together. You know the difference in the radius is so slight it's not, not important so you can actually stack them quite happily. Um, and that's that really. What's that? So you need to leave those overnight now? Yeah. So at least six hours? Yeah, well, that particular um, adhesive, or with that particular hardener, um, normally about six hours. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll wash out the glue spreader, I won't wash out the pot, because it's a really useful way of checking how cured the glue is to come back to the pot in the morning and see how hard it is. And in the polythene pot, once that's gone hard, that will just all pop out completely. No, there won't be anything left. Yeah, exactly. That was very interesting. Thank you. Fascinating to see how that one works. Hoping the guys on the website will find it uh, just as interesting as I did. Yeah. 
So with, with that particular pump, we get about nine tons per square meter. In fact, that's running at that's running at yeah, it's running at over nine tons per square meter of pressure. Absolutely, totally. I mean, you'd have to have some very, very strange weather for the pressure to be different from one end to the other. And what most people don't realize is that it's not the sucking out of the air that's playing the pressure, it's the weight of the atmosphere exactly. pushing yeah. down. Yeah, all you're, doing, all you're doing by sucking the air out of the bag is you're creating a, a pressure differential. So you've still got atmospheric pressure on the outside, but you don't have any atmospheric pressure on the inside. So if you get to, well atmospheric pressure is you know, more or less 10 tons per square meter. So if you get to 95% vacuum, you've got nine and a half tons per square meter of pressure difference. So you're using the atmosphere as a pump. Yeah, which is why you don't, you don't need to have a massive great big pump in order to create that level of pressure, because the pressure's there already. Yeah. You know, you're, you're not creating the pressure, you're just removing it. This is a much simpler thing to do. Well, so I think we should go and hit the uh, pub. I think so. Yeah, that sounds like a very good idea. Tomorrow and see, uh, see what they look like. Excellent. Just, uh, Thank you, Mike.